Greetings, salutations, and happy 2017. Uh, this is Surfer Clock from What's the Attraction, and I apologize for the slightly lower quality um, of the mic uh, this time around. I'm not at the studio formally. I'm actually doing this from my home. Um, what I want to put together is actually a fed up kind of mini episode. This isn't going to fall into the canon. This is not an official What's the Attraction episode. This is me raw as I can possibly be, putting my feelings out there about something that I feel very strongly about. Um, and current events, I feel, have necessitated my coming out and saying this. Now, today is January 6th, 2017, and SeaWorld Florida has just announced that one of their most iconic orcas, Tillicum, has actually passed away. Um, I just first want to say that my feelings go out to all the SeaWorld staff, past and present, this is kind of a really difficult time for all of us. Uh, you know, anybody who's a SeaWorld fan, um, this is, you know, this was one of the most iconic performers in the SeaWorld shows. Um, and quite frankly, just a large, powerful, and majestic creature. Um, the exact cause of death hasn't, has yet to be determined because SeaWorld literally just announced this about an hour ago. Um, you know, the death may have happened earlier it may have happened the previous day, but SeaWorld is opening their hearts to us and, uh, you know, letting us know that this happened. Now, um, in this age of instant social media presence, where it can be put out to the news media in an instant, where it can be posted to their Facebook and their Twitter, um, you think that more folks would be coming out saying, hey, we feel really bad, sorry for your loss, etc., because... You know, generally with other entertainers and performers and, you know, majestic creatures as a whole, that's what you do as a human being with any decent shred of respect about you. So why is it that 90 to 95 percent of the posts on both Facebook and Twitter are saying that they are glad that Tilly Cum has passed away? Now, the why on this is pretty clear. You know, it's a fairly obvious answer. These people have feelings that Tillicum was a slave to entertainment, was being psychologically tormented by his keepers, and, um, you know, they finally feel, hey, Tillicum is free now, free from a long life as a slave in a bathtub, yada yada, ETC. What I want to know is if somebody's dog dies, you know, they post about it on their Facebook and or Twitter. Do you, do you people also come out there and go, Oh, it's great. Your dog is free from your captivity. He's no longer a slave to your leash. Hey, this is a great thing that happened. You wouldn't do that, would you? I mean, just ask yourselves, as decent human beings, would you do this to another fellow person? No, but you'll do it to a big multinational corporation with thousands of employees whose lives you are, no doubt, severely impacting. Do you think people really want to hear this kind of rhetoric at this really tough time? No, they don't. Um, you may want to hear it, and it may sound great coming out from your keyboard, but do you really think that SeaWorld wants to hear this right now? I mean, and yes, now, oh, before you all start attacking me in the comments section, um, saying, yes, they are slaves, yes, bathtub, yes, Tillicum is now free, yada yada, etc. Just hear me out on this. Anyone with a decent shred of human dignity is going to allow time for SeaWorld and or your best friend whose dog just died to mourn the loss, you know. And then if you want to express your opinions after they have passed, uh, after enough time has gone by, then, you know, more power to you. You have your right to your opinion. Whether that opinion is right or wrong is up for debate on social media message boards and everything else. But the reason why that this is kind of a fed up episode is honestly, it's just not right for you to come out and attack SeaWorld so viciously after this has happened. You know, be it human, orca, anything, this is still a member of their family. Now, whether you want to, you know, come out and say, oh, but you stripped him of his family and do this and do that. It's still not respectful, and it's still not right to just come out and so viciously attack SeaWorld like this. And, if, and now, if you're listening to this, you have that opinion, 
and you haven't posted just yet. I'm just going to, I'm offering an impassioned plea to you. Don't do it. Yet. Again, I respect your right to have this opinion. I respect that not everybody thinks that SeaWorld is this great company that does a lot of great work. I respect your opinion. I respect your right to be able to put that out wherever you want. But I only ask that you give SeaWorld, okay, give SeaWorld 24 hours. You know, they just put this out at 11 a.m. today. Give them at least until 11 a.m. tomorrow to go ahead and, uh, you know, mourn the death of one of the members of their family. Just out of decent human respect. Just have some respect. You know what I mean? You wouldn't, you wouldn't expect people to come out and, like, say horrible, terrible things about someone right after they just died if they were, like, a human being or something along those lines like even again i go back to the example of a pet a pet that you know by definition some animal rights activists don't think should be um possessed by humans or owned by humans if someone's dog dies you don't just go out there and like oh thank goodness little fluffy is free from your sick you know your sick little empire you're not going to do that to someone you personally know so why are you going to get behind your internet name, your organization, and relentlessly attack this company that, by the way, does do great work? Even if you don't think they should have orcas and dolphins in captivity, they rescue, rehabilitate, and release so many animals. Um, so, again, my, you know, now you know my opinion, um, and I'm not just doing this to viciously attack the animal rights activists. Um, I just ask that, no, have a decent shred of respect for your fellow man, for the creatures that you so advocate for the freedom for. And again, you know, if you've already posted what you've posted, the damage is done. You know, you're going to believe whatever you want to believe, and you're going to do whatever it is that you want to do. And you know what? That's fine. You're welcome and you're welcome to have that opinion and you're welcome to be incredibly and extremely insensitive at a very sensitive time. You know what? That's just the way some people are. And some people feel it's justified because of what SeaWorld supposedly did. But if you haven't, if you've been holding back, if you're trying to pile up this great, big, snarky, terrible post that's going to, you know, rend some people to tears, you know, people that have long taken care of Tilikum, then I'm just going to ask that if you're going to do it, that you at least wait 24 hours. 24 hours, that's all I'm asking. You know, post whatever you want. You have the right, you have the freedom. Just wait a little bit. Give them time to mourn the death of one of their own. Again, you wouldn't do it to your best friend, so why would you do it to a big national corporation with hundreds of people working for it? This is Server Clock, and I'm fed up.